Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of our live electronic music tutorials. In these sessions, I make music in real time, uncut, unedited, so you see everything that is happening in the creative process. And of course, when I'm done with this project, I put it on our site, we make that music.com as a Logic Pro X template, we can, which you can get for only five bucks. So I think it's a good deal. I think it's a very interesting concept to show people how music is really created, not showing the good part, the bad part. You know, I show everything. Basically, you're gonna see, I'm gonna start from absolute scratch and today I'm gonna make some progressive techno or tech progressive, you know, something along those lines. It's, it, it's techno-y as, as it is heavy in nature. It's hypnotic, it's like a deep groove. But at the same time, it has like a bit of a progressive vibe. So there is some progression, there's some transition, some change, some synth, you know, some stuff like that. A good example of that is Max Graham. Maybe you guys know Max Graham, the music he play on this podcast and most of the music he make is a little bit in between progressive techno and sometimes a bit trancey. So I like this type of vibe, so I'm gonna make that for you today. And in Logic Pro X 10.5, we have a lot of new drum kit and I was just looking just a bit before and I found what is called Deep Blue. It's a bit deep, it's a bit tech, it's a bit, you know, it has a little bit of everything, there's a lot of processing done, so if you haven't checked that out, maybe, uh, guys in, <laughs> guys in uh, Logic Pro X 10.5, check it out, it's very nice, it's, it's, you get so much choice to make music from scratch, no need for anything else but Logic Pro X, and I use only Logic Pro X since, so you get the template, stick it in your DAW, if you're new to Logic Pro, if you are experienced Logic Pro, but you want to try a new genre, Get the templates, guys, it's worth it. If not, just watch the tutorial. And by the way, this is episode 129. We also made 128 other episodes that you can watch. Check it out. So, loaded Logic Pro X. Set their refresh rate to 48,000 hertz. Just a geek thing, you know, I like better 48,000. I would really run it in 96, but somehow my computer is not powerful enough because I do a screen recording at the same time. I would like to get this massive thing, so if you smash the like button, maybe I'm gonna get a new computer and you're gonna be able to have a better quality uh, tutorial. So, deep blue here. Oh, I'm gonna switch to headphones here. So you can tell it's, it's a different kick and those new drum kits, they have nice, very, very nice percussions, very pro. There's some people that did some work and of course we have the new sampler in Logic Pro X, you know, that is, you can really play with every sample. It's like what it, was before and better with a fresh coat of paint you know before it was ultra beats which was on for a long time which i use extensively but now we're getting into the next level with this this really cool interface so i think we're gonna start a kick so as simple as this go into the midi so if you haven't produced electronic music before and it's one of the first tutorial you watch guys <clears throat> if you want to make electronic music, you need a kick. Ta-da, a kick. Aha, but now we have something happening. Because with this new sampler, we have keys for every drum. So the root key is located here. So option, arrows, numerical arrows that is. So now, this is the root key. If we wanted to, I don't know, pitch it up a whole octave, we want some effect or something. But now we're just looking for a kick, so good with this. There's a bit of a noise thing at, this, at the end of this kick. Maybe I want to have a look at the kick in the sample editor here. Because I'm not sure I like this. I like the thump. I'm not sure I like... You can hear this noise at the end. I'm not super keen on it. So I'm gonna remove a little bit of it. Let's make it a, a bigger fade. But somehow the, the thump is a bit further. So maybe. Uh, but then the click is there. So in a kick you always have a click, a thump, and then some residual artifacts, call it what you may. So it's the same thing when the kick drum hit on a real bass drum. You're gonna have the hit you're gonna have the resonance and then you're gonna have a bit of the, the, the after effect, the aftermath, the echo of, of the drum itself. So this is exactly what it is here. So I do not like this. Well, maybe actually I like it. 
Yeah, let's leave it. So, kick. I would go snare. Snare once every two beats, super simple. Ooh, the snare is... Aha! No, the snare isn't, isn't really at this tone. You can tell that uh, we're a bit low. So we're gonna go again here. Better. Let's go. Let's see what the other snare. Here, control A. A bit similar. <coughs> so gonna want to put the snare here. A bit less volume, maybe. Then some open hats here. Straight into it. Oh, I think we're a bit far from the root key here. Oh, it's coming. It's there. Ooh. So, another really cool thing in, in this version of Logic Pro is that you can go select the channel here, and then on the left here, if you have this library open here, you're gonna have the choice of all of the the samples that are included in Logic. So, I mean, this is crazy. Personally, I don't like this hat. I have one that I like a lot that if you watch a few episodes, you're gonna know right away. I had open deep deck. This, is, this, this makes it every time for me. So this is good. And then we're gonna go into another hat here. We're just gonna be more rolling. I think I will make it very quick, but very small. It's gonna, it's gonna roll in the back very quickly. You can hear it. <laughs> it's gonna be there, but I will, I will make it a very tiny, like, and then I'm gonna make it. So I would right away cut all the lows from it. Just get the top above 2K. And then go into it and probably modulate it with uh, spread like a tremolo mm, probably a chorus would do better so it's not it in the stereo field so it's not so present it's more on the sides perfect you can see how fast it is going here we could also try to really shorten it no i like it in full it's got enough time to reach the full sample so we're good these hats are a little bit too loud for my taste Let's see what we got. Okay. Uh, some nice toms. Where is the root key to this? Oh. different way to do a low end into a track I mean this is a million different way really to be honest but I mean for this genre I can take this and then add a little bit here because I know a little bit where 
to put my, my drum hits. That I don't like though, I had this problem before it doesn't show anymore where the root key is in the MIDI editor. Why? <clears throat> I don't know, I think it's a bit of a bug. Give it a try to go up a little, maybe I'll go like that. No. No, I think we're good there. We we'll keep on going with another drum for sure. Doing deep tech, hypnotic. Ooh. So to do tack tack. This is a very nice FM hit here. I have a good sub it's gonna be a bit different when I go into the bass line I don't think I will because you have this here things are nice I think I would drop a compressor on it right away so we're still in drums but somehow drums also work as basses I mean at least as I would call it a sub more than a bass Taking a lot of room, really. Let's look at the waveform here. Oof. Well, maybe tempted to go in the very low of it. Hmm. With the attitude to start with, I like it. And those drums here. Let's go in the sampler. Nice filter here. Let's try it. is a bit too heavy. Mm. Not sure about the snare somehow. I'm gonna be tempted to layer it with probably some claps. Some congas, yes.
can I see the root key? I guess I'm maybe missing something here, or maybe... Yeah, I think there's still a little bit of bugs in this, in these versions of Logic Pro X, so it's gonna come. So guys, I think we have a good percussion bass here. Groovy, very strong. Very quick and somehow love energy, lots of potential. <clears throat> so I would go with the bass, but really because we have this sub going on, you know, I'm not gonna go with a, with a big thumpy bass, I'm gonna go more like a bass pad to, to just put it at the top to make it vibey, you know. I think I have one that's here that's called Lazarus, <clears throat> that's, that's what I'm looking for, maybe. Probably gonna have to tweak it a little bit, but let, let's drop this a little bit and hear it. I think I think they should put some related <coughs> kind of patches. to base I'm gonna look at the characteristic here muted mysterious organic messy nice distorted clean clean maybe is it gonna be clean tempted to go into pads instead and to go into fast attack and to go in all here and to try to find something that's got enough low end and it doesn't have enough chunk
<clears throat> mm -hmm. No Reese, okay. I'm looking for some, so I cannot really find what I am looking for just yet, so I'm gonna move on to something else. Try to find it. Whoa. Why not? I guess we have no choice but to. <coughs> go into the bases and to do a bit of distorted maybe to have a bit of chunk takes this long and nothing is happening what's happening is that I should change direction and instead of doing a bass I'm gonna do some kind of a pad I'm gonna create myself a little sand I'm gonna do bus here the bus is already here I'm gonna pick up a reverb it's gonna be a silver verb a very large room my preset, grandios, put it here, and then because the groove is, is really really good, I really don't, <laughs> I wouldn't add so much to it really just yet, so now we're gonna go and then try to add a little bit of vibe to it and then come back to some bass, even knowing that I have already something rolling in the back, that's probably why I'm trying to put a bass in, but I already have so much sub that it's not really sticking in just yet. Oh yeah, and I'm a bit low for a pad, that's for sure. This is a little bit strange. Ooh, it was 
beautiful. Right, this, this is going in right away. I think it's a bit random this part, so when I played it, it was a bit different. Let's already stick a side chain on it. I'm gonna do side chain, instrument, kick right here, boom, drop the speed, augment the ratio, That, that run run that in the background while we continue and I would like piano natural poly sci-fi this one is like plucked where did I find that team but mysterious Category here. I think I'm gonna use the verb again just so I can play with a little bit of effect so it's not completely dry. So because we're doing <coughs> very hypnotic stuff, it's, it's already super deep. I'm like, oof, I have a bit of a problem focusing right now because of the depth of this 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 track already. I think I like it 
better here. We'll continue in this vein. But I can see that would be good in there now. <coughs> I think that the primary part of this track was really the drums, and once the drums are laid, really, it's it's just got such such potency that you know, trying to put the bass on top didn't really really work immediately, at least. So. It was either why there was a bit of a struggle here. However, we're not gonna stop because this is live and this is what's happening. We're making music and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. The beat is really, really something. So we can keep on going and build a track around it. And the other parts will come eventually. We're at 33 minutes, no problem, guys. We get all the time. You can always skip the segment in the comment below if you want to watch a specific thing. So we're gonna go now. We're gonna do an arm. So the first few ones are very good. Actually, I'm gonna go at the bottom. I'm gonna do an inverted. So here, I'm gonna start at the bottom uh, this year. So this is to to bring and spin Oof. no oi I think we're good with what we had, we can tweak it. See, I'm a little bit undecided. No, well, this this one is definitely the best. Oof. This is a bit intense, guys. see now is we have this effects here or this or that so we need some kind of a <clears throat> some kind of a melody to top it off like a, I would say a pad melody like a like a drawny kind of trippy 
kind of thing so we're gonna go into pads and we're gonna take some of my favorite the perfect pad is always well a perfect pad really so we're gonna go into here we're gonna send it a little bit drop the volume Not what I expected to do, but hey, sound good. Sound very good. So we can <coughs> do this like that. Q. Not exactly on time. I think you can have more intensity by switching it up. This one is best. So let's see, just for fun, if we turn off this sub here. And those drums too, because they're... So we don't need much more than this as a low end, for sure. <clears throat> but I still want this, this, this melody-ish, like this, this driving something so I'm gonna continue here again the sand this time I'm gonna go into keys maybe I get a bit more luck with this whoa Patch. This is not really for that, though. That I used before has got a nice, rich tone to it. really adding
today is one of those days where it take a lot of time. to organs then Something very simple to keep on building the groove, <coughs> and then we'll see. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. So eleven, eight, eleven here. Split here, and this here. Things will be better here. How many? Okay. It's kind of a good mistake. I'll take it. keys on top of each other. This is why logic was bugging. Shop it. And then let's try to
before I could do at least a little inversion here so it's not going to be completely static. I'm not getting the vibe I'm looking for, so we'll continue a little bit. I guess the best one was this God Sender. So that in the background. I guess it needs a bit more lows. So it resonate better with the track. So alright guys, so this is gonna be it for episode 129 of our live electronic music session. Some sessions are different than others. This one I really got like a strong beat, started building the elements, it sounds great, I'm gonna put some more time into it and turn it as an, into a template. I'm gonna paint on our site with wemadedancemusic.com. And that's it guys, and until next time, may the songs be with you.